Hey y'all, it's Lisa, and welcome to Our Gray House. When it comes to Christmas decor, do you consider yourself a go big or go home, or are you more of a minimalist, simplistic type person? I have a cat named Captain. I am a more, I would say I'm a more, not minimalist, but I do like simpler decorations. And I like it if it's more of a, um, kind of goes along with a theme. I know it's July, but I'm participating in the Crafted by Corey Minis Challenge, and the theme this month is Christmas in July. I'm excited to show you what I made today, so let's quit gabbing and let's start crafting. I'm using this little sign that I got from the Dollar Tree. I thought it was cute with the beads on top. I painted it white, and now I'm just gonna take the sign out from the frame. I'm using an Arctic marker in the color red, and I'm just drawing some lines down the center of the sign. I cut out a decal using my Cricut, and it says, Be Merry, and I'm just applying it to the sign. And now, I'm gonna put the sign back in the frame, and that's it. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And this is how it turned out. I got three wood blocks from the Dollar Tree, and kind of the interesting thing about these wood blocks is two of them, Captain keeps trying to mess with that camera, two of these blocks are heavier, and one of the blocks feels like it, almost like it's hollow or something. Anyway, we're gonna make it work. It doesn't really affect <laughs> what I'm doing to um, create this little DIY. I'm gonna be using Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultra Matte Paint in the color Linen White. I was, couldn't remember the name, gosh. I use it all the time. Anyway, I'm just painting basically the center of the blocks white because we're gonna be doing a reverse stencil, guys. Now that the blocks are dry, I'm gonna be applying this decal that I cut out using my Cricut, and it just spells the word joy. However, if you'll notice, there are only three sets of the word, and there are four sides to the cube. I don't know why I didn't print out the fourth one. I ended up going back and, and fixing it, but it was just kind of funny. It was like, Lisa, <laughs> there are four sides to the cube. What the heck? I'm applying the stencil to the blocks of wood and then just, of course, removing the transfer tape and making sure everything is sticking down well. Now it is time to paint. So I'm using Rust-Oleum's Chalked Ultramat Paint in the color Charcoal and giving it a coat over. I didn't do a prep coat though, so we'll see how this works. Here we go. Hey, it's turning out pretty good. And I'm just using that tool that I got from the Dollar Tree to remove the vinyl and show you guys that reverse stencil method that I like to do. I did go back and print out a fourth letter, a word, the word joy, I printed out again, but I had messed up one of the O's, so I used that O as a kind of template, and I'm using the beaded garland in the white color that I'd gotten from the Dollar Tree. I'm attaching some additional beads so that it just looks a little bit fuller, and then I'm gonna be hot gluing that to the side that was blank. And this is how it turned out. Last project, this was an inspo piece that I had seen. I, I can't even remember where I saw it, but I took this little, I think it's a four by six mat that I got from the Dollar Tree, and it's a thin one. It's not the, it's a stretched canvas, but it's like a thin board. Anyway, I painted it with that charcoal paint, and I cut out with my Cricut, all is calm, all is bright. And now comes the fun part. I am going to be painting, and I'm not the greatest painter, you guys, so be kind in the comments, but I'm gonna be painting some snow, if you will, at the bottom. I'm also going to be adding some trees on each side. Some evergreens, maybe, I don't know. I don't know what kind of trees they are. That This kind of tree that I'm painting, that's what kind. trying to add a little bit of dimension using a couple colors of green. I'm also adding some like snowflakes. I guess they could be stars, but like snowflakes 
and then adding a little bit of snow to the trees. And this is how it turned out. In the description box below, there's going to be a link to Crafted by Corey's channel as well as a link to the entire playlist. And now that you've watched my video, you can go check out theirs. And don't forget, if you want to follow me here on YouTube or over on Instagram, it's Our Great House. But just don't follow me in real life, though, because that's creepy. Bye!